Okay. We could do with some food. We're gonna discuss some stuff. I think we need to discuss this. So, Noah, did anyone request you as a teacher? Huh. Nope. They're probably a bit worried of us. <laughs> no surprises there, huh? Still, it's kind of depressing. Hmm. Noah, a word? What? Uh, yeah, go on. They asked if I teach too, but I'm not confident to do it alone. I appreciate your help, if you wouldn't mind. Oh. Yeah, no problem. I'll do whatever I can. Go on, I'll give you a hand too, mate. That's okay. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> oh, come on. The more the merrier, am I right? I'll only be teaching theory. So... You know what I'm getting at. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Yeah. Hey, what are you getting at? Are you calling me stupid? I didn't say that. But do you even want to be involved? Uh... Well, if I was there, Noah wouldn't get his time to shine, so... Out of the pure goodness of my heart, I'll let him have this one. Knock him dead, Noah. Hmm. Huh, yeah, okay. Get yourself ready, and then I'll see you in the colony square, if that's okay. Yeah, sounds good. See you there, Tyon. <laughs> that was... that was funny. Then... I'll set this one as current I quest. I think we need to discuss this. Uni, a teaching assignment is coming for us. Yeah, looks like it. Although I'm shocked they even wanted me. You're a lot easier to approach than me or Lance. Evelyn, Colony, nine all the youngs loved you. I hate to say it, but you're just a surprisingly caring person. To ashes with your surprisingly. So what did you have asked for us? Yeah, um, about that. You were asked for by Foot Squad. They're a strong team, skilled in battle, mainly attackers and defenders. They enjoy fighting a bit too much, but they're pretty exceptional soldiers. Their captain Foots, in particular, uh, they would go pretty. To, they would go along pretty well with uh, a sheriff's colony, mm -hmm. Colony Eleven. Ooh, that don't sound too bad. A bunch of hot-blooded newbies. Don't take them lightly, Uni. Especially Foots. He's super rude. Especially to me. I have no idea why. Oops. Sounds like they don't take you seriously. Sounds to me like we got ourselves a prime opportunity. We can knock this attitude out of their heads while we whip them into shape. I don't think whipping is called for. We just need to show them we're on a diff totally different level to them. That'll keep them from mouthing off, yeah? Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Then let's whip them good. Now let's settle. Looks like we got some rookies to teach. Oh yeah, we got to, we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, you know these are just new recruits we're talking about, right? Don't fake them. If they're rude, I'm breaking them. Hm. Let's bounce. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'll talk to Foots. You're the uh, leader. Wow! Has you finally shown up? Looks that way. Can you both just not? Sorry, Senna. These guys were raised by Pharisees. Oh, um, no need to apologize, to Sora. Right, Stan, that's the one who made us wait after all. That she did. Okay, that's enough. Looks like someone's in need of a little discipline. Right, Stan? Uh, right. Yes, exactly. And no time at the present, eh, loves? Mock battle time! Time for some hard weightlifting! Uh, what? <laughs> uh... Hey, what happened to whooping them good? Mock battle is the best whip there is. Is it though? This is totally weight weightlifting's time to shine. You want to pump iron? So what? We just sit it, sit, sit this one out. We can all do it with them, right? 
We gotta show them we're on a different level. That ain't what I had in mind. Guys, <laughs> don't fight. We all want to do some strength training, right? Everyone wants to get strong. Yeah, no mock battle it is. I'm gonna teach you runs to fight. Hmm. <laughs> mock battle sounds fine. Wait just a second, did you just push me? You must have imagined it. All in your head. See, I strength train every day. Honestly, I wanted to prove myself against you. Take on a real life Kevesi soldier. What he said? Uh, I wouldn't put it like that, but I think it'd be a good experience. Oh man, you chilly Sora? The majority has spoken. These little scamps are all full of beans, so good mock battles, perfect to wear them out. Wow, looks like the Kabensi understands us better than even the illustrious Senna does. So let's show her how tough we are. We'll be waiting for you in the training ground, don't run away in terror, yeah? And then quit yapping and get yourself ready. Ah, they don't respect me at all. Hey, teach. Are these lessons of yours really that tough? If you need some guidance, you are always welcome. Mm hmm. Don't try any funny business. Like letting us win or whatever. Don't worry your pretty little head about that. You'll regret taking me on. Look at that. She gets it. Then let's begin. Uh, I should land. Yes. I think uh, this class, Monica's class, is pretty decent at AoE threat generation. More so than most other tank classes. Like, for example, I think Dion's class with Noble Taunt is only really good at single target. Hey, buddies. Wow. They're too strong. <laughs> I love it. This, this is the exact thing I wanted. Oh, you look like you want to go another round. That's right. Not gonna let you take your win and go. Woohoo. It's all kicking off now. Bring it. Again? Only four left. You sure this is fine? Wait, you're level 27. Uh, teachers, teachers, I, I thought that was level 50 something ish. I guess you can start this quest at a lower level. That makes sense, I think. I, I, I can't. I, I, I need a break. Isora! Isora, are you okay? Isora! She's not dying. Ah, Nakumo, you'll shatter my eardrums. Watch, Isora. I'll invent you. Oh my goodness. Is he, is he still going? Does he scare you? Bad habit for someone your term. Hey, you can't say that. One more round. Nakumo, you up for it? Ooh, yeah, I'll beat you black and blue. Come on, guys. Come here. I got something for you. You're on fire, lad. I'm gonna smack you with me. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 
I'm gonna get tankier as fighting the wrong. Are you guys science? Getting stronger as you fight? Stronger as you lose? Ah, snuff you! We're in trouble, Nagmo. They're amazing. But the another one were giving everything they had. But this lot are in a different league. Aww, you lot ain't so bad. And you got nerve. Yeah, we do. But I can't stand it. You still look so fresh. You look so fresh, Miss Uni. Feel free to challenge me anytime, though, as long as you don't mind losing. Huh, that's some big talk. In that case, I'm happy to keep challenging you. I look forward to seeing your face when you beat you. Sounds good to you, Miss Uni. Huh, Miss Uni? <laughs> oh, and Senna, you better be ready too. Yeah, be prepared, Senna. Why don't I get a nice title? But I'll let it slide for today. I'm knackered. Hmm. No, you don't get to decide when the lesson's over. This is where it really begins. Uh, what? You've shown you want to get stronger, so let's have a little strength training competition. Strength training? You know, actually I'm done for... You want to beat us, don't you? Then strength training is the only way. Now you're all done warming up, you should be in tip-top condition. It has to be now. You have to train. It's the only way. <laughs> train your muscles. <laughs> is she serious? This is what I mean when I say you two are too cocky. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, do your best. I'll be cheering you on from here. Hey, you're going to join in too, right, Miss Uni? <laughs> Is she gonna lift, uh, Levnesis? Gamma is as vibrant as ever once again, thanks to you. No problem, Teach. Next one. Yes. Okay, so. Over. You can start the quest earlier, but to finish it is level 57, which I'm gonna guess is a fight against Teach or something. We already dealt with the console here. Mm -hmm. Hello. Theoretical combat knowledge. Tactical knowledge. I did think you'd be the ones who asked for me as a teacher. Uh, what gave us away? You've always been so enthusiastic about asking me things. Well, yeah, I respect you pretty highly as a strategist. I thought you had some good lessons to teach, so maybe it was presumptuous for me, but yes, I put you forth for it. I'm just a little puzzled. I don't remember asking for this Kevacy. Oh, I... um... I'm the one who asked him. He's going to assist me in teaching. So today's lesson will consist of several problems you will be expected to solve. I want to gauge your understanding of basic tactics and situational awareness. No objection to your plan here. But I do have a problem with that guy being involved in the teaching. I see. And what do you two think? As a member of Captain Zekir's team, I'll abide by his decision. Uh, I... I... well, um... So, I agree with um, Mina. I'm not going to go against Commander Teach on this. 
I just don't think I have enough information to judge whether Kevis is trustworthy. That's the truth. Which is... Fair. As someone who in in intends to be the next commander, it's kind of my job to look into these things. That will be a big job, so... What's to be done now? Look. How about if I answer Tyrant's questions as well, then? Huh? Wait, why though? Well, you know. It's always easier to solve something like this with a straightforward contest, right? That makes no sense at all. Wheel of Fortune! It doesn't make a difference to me, Tyrant. So you're okay with this? It's at least a better way to end it than each prodding at the other to test their nerve, wasting time. Better to have a contest with a clear winner and loser. Very confident of you. It suits me just fine. Whatever. Then just don't get don't forget that we're all here to learn, okay? Let me get permission to use the War Council area. That will be appreciated. We'll meet later then. Agreed. Later. Hmm. What's the matter, Shun? I'm going to bomb the quiz. Is that here? Here you are. Then, shall we start with some combat related problems? Uh, sure. Which of these combo routes is wrong? Oh! Uh... Yes, this is wrong. Regarding charms... <laughs> what is the most important... Component of a chain attack? Uh, the balance of rolls. Which attack weakens the enemy? Debuffs. Which of these is not a benefit of inflicting days? Attacks always hit. All allies recover HP, normal arts will not accumulate aggro. Uh, no recovering. What should an attacker typically do if targeted by the enemy? We double your attack, pull back and wait for it. Uh, pull back and wait for a defender to assist. <laughs> Give up. That was bad. That's all the combat questions I've got. Let's take a quick break. Phew! Looks like you're having some trouble. Don't let it get you down. No need to worry about me. My score will show you. Oh, okay. I thought I got something wrong. I'm sure. Don't look so much like you're going to skip out in the middle of the ride. No fear. I'll see it through to the end. What's up next, Tyon? Next is questions related to situational awareness. That is vital for battle. Absolutely. No gaps in my knowledge. Maybe I'll study up just to be safe. Do I have to memorize something? Do I have to go somewhere and memorize things? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Here you are. Next. Yes. What equipment is exclusive to Kevesi soldiers? Uh, power frames. Where did Colony Sigma and Colony 9 fight Everblight Plane? Which statement about the flame clouds is in the iris is correct? In Keves is the left eye, Agnes the right. Let's see. Keves is right eye, Agnes the left. What's the name of the de desert in in the foreign region? Uh, Dana Desert. What does black fog cause? An Alleghen event. I'm not sure about the uh, the desert question. Let's see how you both measure up. Unfortunately, Team Zakir falls just short of a perfect score. Oh, what? Snuff this! Noah? I have no comments. Full marks, yay! What? Get in! It looks like I'm going to have to reconsider my opinion of you. Yes. Good. Given new information about someone, you should change your opinion about that person. I absolutely want you to teach this stuff to them. To whom? 
carry on foot. They're not good at sitting quietly. They need to learn more about combat situations that they can't just brute force their way out of, or leave to chance. Their carelessness will tarnish Commander Teacher's good name. When it comes to Foots, since peacetime he hasn't had any respect for Commander Teach, which is why he'll never be platoon leader. The care, isn't there something you should be saying before all this? Right, yeah, sorry. You're right, Mina. Noah, is it? Yeah. I lost this one, and I accept your victory gracefully. Good job, good boy. But, if I can be frank, I can't just immediately start trusting you. Fair. Cap Captain Zakir. If I was going to lie about that, I would never have accepted the, this challenge in the first place. You may feel I'm not holding up my part of the bargain, but this is just how I feel. I won't apologize for it. That's fair. <clears throat> You know, though, I'm actually glad you came straight out and said it. You're optimistic, aren't you? I think what we need is to compromise, bit by bit. Whatever form that takes, whether it's playing games like this or being honest about our feelings or whatever. The important thing is that we come to know each other. Do you get my drift? Hmm, getting to know each other. We don't mean you any harm, we just want to help. That's the truth, I just want, to, I just want you to know. You know what? Y you know that whatever you say is not going to make me any more able to trust you. But I do understand. This is what Commander Teach is hoping for too, isn't it? Well, anyway, if you want to teach here, then I want you to face the students with the appropriate sense of responsibility. So, I so keep that in mind and you might earn my respect too. I will. Thank you, Zakir. As long as you understand. Good kid. Six teams. Ah, I thought it was people. Hmm. A lesson in off team. Ooh. Teacher, Noah, student, Team Zakir, and Shun. Oh, it's the glasses and shy girl. It sounds pretty serious. I'll do my best. Noah, well, yeah. the teacher. Oh, wait. I need to discuss it. <laughs> ah, I guess this this is why. Okay. Let's make the most of our break, guys. Let's lay out the facts. Hey, Lance, listen to this. I've been asked to teach as well. What? No stuffing way! The request came from Shun, from Zakir's team. She's one of the new recruits that Tyon taught the other day. I see. So that's how it is, huh? Did she take a shine to you then? Maybe. I don't know. I don't really recall talking to her much. She's an officer like us, so maybe that's why she's curious about meeting a Kavesi one. Ah, that makes sense. But in that case, I don't know what I should teach her. Man, I wish I could have been one of Tyron's teaching assistants, too. Oh, that's right. You're now the only one of us, Kevesi, who hasn't been requested by anyone, Lance. Ouch. Hey, hey Noah. Oh, 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 buddy. Oh, pal. How about I help you out this time? Good grief. <laughs> you don't need to rush. I'm sure someone will ask you for you eventually. Thanks, Mio. <laughs> Don't lose hope, Lance. <sighs> well, if you need my help, Noah, I'll be around. Just loafing about like a tool. So, yeah, <laughs> let me know. Sure, I'll do that. I suppose I should find soon now. Mm. <clears throat> Poor Lance. Not much you can teach, though. What can you teach? I'm all refreshed and ready to take on the world. Handling grief, maybe? Hey Shun, don't be too shy. I'm here, babe. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's no bother. Uh, and who might you be? I have no business with you, but there's nothing wrong with me being here, right? I won't get in your way. Uh, Alright then, I suppose I don't mind. I'm, I'm also okay with it if, 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 if you really want to, you know? Okay, I guess he doesn't quite trust me yet. He doesn't seem like someone Shun might would be partners with, but not my business, probably. Let's jump right into it then. Um, wait. Uh, uh, yes. S -s -s Sorry for interrupting. No, it's okay. What were you going to say? It's just, um, you're a Kevesi officer, aren't you? That's right, and you're an officer too. So I've heard. Uh, yes, but I, I, I don't really know how to send someone off properly. I play my flute, but I, I get the feeling that it's not all I should be doing, so... Hmm. I I'm sorry. W w what am I on about? No, I wasn't judging you. I can kind of understand how you feel. Really? Um, but... Ah, I know. Why don't we step outside the colony for a little while? Outside? I'm sure I saw a body of water in the mountains not too far from here. You, you mean Cooley Pool? There's a camp right next to it. Um, could you wait a bit? I need to ask permission to leave the colony. Do you want to come too? Uh, sorry, I forgot your name. It's, it's Zuno. Hmm? Zuno. Sure, I'll come. But please just pretend like I'm not even there. I've got permission to go. Alright, we'll start the lesson there. I hope you find it helpful. Okay. Thank you. Next to the camp. Yes. Uh, so camp should be... Off scene is done through music and emotion. Huh. Now that Colony Gamma has been liberated from the, from the flame clock, you no longer you no longer need to fight for its sake. But I think the works of us officers do do will remain unchanged, no matter what. Hmm. Ooh, husks. Do I get affinity for each one of these? I guess this is fate too, huh? Husks. Let's send them off together. I wonder, what were these people thinking when they realized they were dying? I wonder if they wanted to carry on living. Or if they were relieved that it meant they didn't have to fight anymore. It might be neither of those things. It could be something completely different. I feel like I have no idea what to do. I, I want to empathize with them, but it feels like my melody just rings hollow. The more people I send off, the emptier I feel inside. If it's how you feel, then it's how you feel. No one can argue with that. I'm, I'm so sorry. I feel like I barely understand anything at all. Welcome to life. Hmm. It's alright. We'll take it slow. If you feel anything else, at any point, just let me know, okay? Okay. No affinity. Hmm. 
We can't just leave this be. You don't have to understand, you have to empathize. It always used to feel like a proper send off before. I mean, never had doubts like this when Big Clan was still around. Ah, oh, right, I need an officer to play in pairs, don't they? Yes, Big Clan was my partner. He went to fight in Alfredo Valley, though, and since then he. Ah, I see. Alfredo Valley is where we first met our three Agnian com companions. So I guess I'll have to be an officer on my own from now on. But just the thought of that makes my mind go blank. Like, I don't get what the point is of any of it. I never get off seeing a proper thought to begin with. I just left it all to McLaren to take care of. Hmm. I don't know if this will alleviate your worries or not, but... How about rather than thinking about how you should send them off, you try thinking about how you want to do it. How I want to do it? That's a big frown. Huh? You're thinking too hard. Oh, a am I? Don't panic. We're in no hurry. Just do whatever you think is right. I wonder if she, well, if if uh, someone sent Miklan off and she wants to do it. That could be something to do. Like, I think she's processing her grief. I mean, unable to process it, I guess. Well, we've been found. Hey. I've gotta keep their I'm gonna poke you with my flag. Ow. Bird. I'm guessing this is a required fight ish, maybe. These 30. Uh, no, I don't see an arena. Usually, required fights have, you know, full square around us. But it's weird that they be aggro. We're unstoppable with you around, Senna. I'm the girl with the gall. Such is the Offseer's duty. Mm -hmm. The lights float away. They overflow from the body like they've been set free from everything. It looks so beautiful. I want to help these beautiful lights. I want to lead their dance into the sky, sparkling way up high. The melody you played with your partner was inside you all along. All that was left was to trust in yourself. I'm certain that's the key to unlocking your own unique way of off-seeing. Thank you so much. I I'll always treasure what you've said to me today, Noah. I must offer my apologies. Huh? I wanted to be there so I could make sure if anything happened to Shun, you couldn't get away with it, but... I see. But that's why you came. We were good friends, you know. Not really. I just thought that if Shun got sad, 
McLaren wouldn't have wanted that. That is all. Th thank you, Zuno. Good kids. Go back to Colony. More teaching. Huh. It looks like we don't have any teaching requests at the moment. Huh. Is it this thing? Huh. Behind the canteen? Huh. What might you be? Hello, sir. Inside? Hmm, Namuki. Can we please talk later? I'm right in the middle of getting my research documents in order. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to bother you when you're so busy. Oh, wait a mi moment. You are Mr. Lance, correct? Uh, Mr. Lance? My, my name is Lance. Don't know if I need the Mr. I never would have imagined you would come to seek me out. Oh, my name is Namuki, by the way. I was actually thinking of requesting you for some mentoring. There's a guy called you? Good for him. Wait! You mean me? You wanted me? Yeah, yes. I'd do anything for your help. Yeah, sh sure. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. I'm just so glad you chose me. I'll get back to my documents now. I'll see you at training. O okay, see you later then. <laughs> okay. That should be enough data. Lance is ecstatic. What do you have to say, Namuki? Hmm. Going by agility, the common feature of this group are likely to be. Hmm, I need to make none of the hair that and eye color in the next inspection. I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of an experiment right now. There's something you need. Ask when I'm done. Huh. Are you going to experiment on lambs? Huh. Trying to huh. see huh. machina physiology? Huh. Hmm. We could do with some food. <laughs> I think we need That's to discuss so funny. this. Hey, Senna, was there a little dude called Namuki along with your protégés? What kind of person is he, would you say? Huh? Why are you talking, asking me about him all of a sudden? Well, you see? <laughs> you really want to know? Stop acting so cocky and answer the sparking question. Now, now, hold, hold your ponios. Truth is, the little chap asked me to teach him. Finally, this for you, Lance. Yeah, it's time for me to step up to the plate and do my thing. Last. Wow, he must have a few screws loose if he asks a big weirdo like you for help. Heh, <laughs> I'm in a good mood today, so I'll forget you just said that. Anyway, you asked about Namuki. Uh, how can I describe him? He always has excellent grades, and he never makes a mistake, whether in the classroom or on the battlefield. Hmm, <clears throat> you won't find him rushing headlong into battle like Futs or Nagumo. Why a boy like Namuki would want tutoring from a brute like Lance is somewhat of an enigma to me. Yeah, it is hard to tell what he's thinking sometimes. An inscrutable sort. Right? I have a little trouble with him too. Come on, you lot. Call yourself mentors? Shame on you. There's nothing more annoying than the sound of Lance getting carried away. Well, it doesn't matter what he's like. What really matters is that I make he, I make sure he knows I'm a great role model that he can depend on. That's probably not the lesson he's looking for. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Lands. Let's get going. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> the day has finally come. Hey, fella. Teacher's here. Why do you have the creepy smile? I had to think about what kind of thing I, want, I should teach you. 
but I reckon we should get to know each other by talking with our fists first. Yes, actually, I've been thinking a lot too. I've been wondering what's so different about us. Eh? I mean, the differences and similarities between you Kebesi and us Agnians. But the Kebesi are supposed to be our enemies. Such curiosity is taboo. An impossible dream, so to speak. You're all so veiled in mystery. I thought I'd lost all hope of learning about you. But now, look! Right before my very eyes! A living, breathing Kebezi! Uh, uh huh. Th that's me. For my first step, a test to unravel the mysteries of your kind. A, a test? What are you all about, mate? Come on, you! Aren't you curious too? It's okay, just nod your head for yes! Let's get started then! Uh, okay, G gotcha, gotcha, just pipe down a bit. Gotcha means understood, correct? Good to know. Huh? Hey, wait, where are you going? Oh, pardon me, my ex excitement must have run away from me. Please follow me, I'll explain in more detail at the training ground. What's wrong? Come, quickly! I can barely wait to begin! Uh... See? He's a mystery, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, no joking! Hey, wait a sec! It's not nice to judge people as quick, Senna! Maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength, but at least he has me for help. That much I understand. I have to meet his expectations as his mentor, right? Yeah, I guess so. He can handle the lands. <laughs> Go. Namuki, 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 namuki. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Eh? What are these guys doing here? I gather Kiri and company to help out with my test. Nice to meet you, sir. No, I have no clue why we're here. And, and Zuno. I've got a rough idea. Alright, if you're all prepared, I'll ask you all now to conduct the battle. The rules will be those of mock battle. Please keep fighting until I say stop. Team Carry, please fight to the best of your ability in order to test our senior colleague's true strength. Copy that. Of course, that means the opposing team should fight with equal fervor. Uh, okay. Are there any questions? I don't think so. Now please take your positions. Are both sides prepared? In that case, let the battle come in. Hold on! You! Aren't you joining in? Of course not. I need to observe and take notes. But this is supposed to be your training. Don't worry, sir. Namaki Superstar. He's the prized advisor of my team. Don't worry, just trust what he says. Ah, Kiri, we can always be re relied upon for sound judgments. That's a literally quality. I see, then that's how it is, eh? Well, I might as well do it this way. Get ready, you lot. You're going down. Oh, Lemnus too? I'll do my Shall best. we deal with this? Oh, you are dealing with me! Thanks! Give me a chance! I got something for you! Thanks for the support! Ah! Level 40, yeah, so the level jumped. I'm guessing the final two are gonna be like level 50 ish. What are we finding? Uh, Kiri and, and. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that's, that, that's a big wave of enemies. There you have to know. Is Kiri here? Kiri, Kairi. Wait, 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 wait,
Let's see Talon Arts for the next move. Uh, 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 You're gonna get so much data. Oh, hello, Kiri, Kairi. Find the entire colony. <laughs> Saving on art. Next wave. Small enemies means my town art goes up quicker, which means more AoE, which is a nice little loop. This class has for you know juggling rats. <laughs> Did you get enough data, my boy? Alright, stop. Please sheathe your blades. After I killed everyone in the colony. Phew. It's finally over. <sighs> you satisfied now, Mamuki? To be honest, I would have preferred longer, but I got the minimum data needed. I'll share my battle report later. I hope you'll find it useful for improving your skills. Thanks, Mamuki. You're the best. Now, I would like to have a word in private with our seniors here. So please disband in a calm and orderly fashion. Nice work today, everyone. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Thank you for waiting, everyone. For you three, Kevesi, allow me to give a brief review of your battle performance. Yikes. Here we go. <laughs> You have a good balance of skills and are highly adaptable to emerging situations. Though I did not see any prominent abilities, your strength lies in having no major flaws. So, JRPG main character. D do you really think so? I'm not a great judge of such things. You're excellent at utilizing ether. Now, rather, your body has a remarkably high affinity for ether. Because she's a high untail. It's highly efficient at converting the ether flowing through it into your abilities, 
It's like a high performing circuit. Oh, uh. I also have the sense that those wings on your head hold some kind of secret that ties to this. Don't, don't chop it off. If you could just give me one easy feather. <laughs> nope. Okay, then. I'll find out eventually, though. <laughs> Mr. Lance! Uh, y yeah? Personally, I thought you were the most interesting of all. Just as your appearance suggests, you are by far the sturdiest of the group. <laughs> well, that's obvious. I had to push myself in training. No, I mean, even regardless of training, I think your body was made to be strong and sturdy from the beginning. It's as if you were somehow built to be as solid as possible. Was he, perhaps, built differently? Looking closely, your body tissue seems to be quite a different sort of to Noah's or Uni's. Anyway, the three of you all have some clear differ uh, differentiating features. So, what exactly is he trying to say? How would I know? I suppose neither of you have wings like me. I never really paid much at attention to that. Yeah, exactly. We're all similar and different at the same time, but nobody really troubles themselves with the fact. Ignoring for the moment the question of this inconsistency, I still require samples to prove these differences conclusively. And so to begin, Mr. Lance, I will now conduct a full body inspection. Please strip. <laughs> you can't just spring that on me. I don't mind though, I'll just go ahead. Ow! That stuffing hurt. What was that for? I should be asking you that. Why would you just trip right here in the open? Yeah, exactly. Don't scare us like that. What? It's just taking out clothes. Nothing wrong with that. Of course it's wrong. Wait. Is it? Um. I can't think of a reason. Why did you sock me one then? I don't know. Reflex, I guess. Yeah, you just look like you need a good smack sometimes. <laughs> what the snuff is with you two? Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. What kind of response is that exactly? Is it limited only to Mr. Lands or... Oh, I can't just stand here idling. I need to research for my next test. What? Hold on. Oi, come back! Oh, my apologies. My eagerness took a hold of me once again. I hope you will cooperate with me again soon, Mr. Lands. I expect great things from you. Ooh. Mostly of an ecological nature. Okay, sure. You can count on me. You just let me know whenever you need me. I Indeed. I predicted, I mean hoped, you might say that. <laughs> well then, that's all from me. You hear that, Noah? He expects great things from me. Yeah, I heard. Man, it's great being a mentor. <laughs> I think I love this quest line. It's probably my favorite as of now. More teaching. More teaching. More teaching? <laughs> Extracurricular lesson. Teacher, Mio. Student, Lari number 0020. Kiri, Kai. I think it's Kairi. Kairi. Okay. Mio. Can't underestimate a bit of good intel. Leave it to me. I've been craving some downtime. Let's have a little huddle up. I was confused as to why Mimi hasn't had any teaching requests so far. But it turns out they're all pulling names out of sparkling hats to decide who gets to. Why would they do that? Well, it's not surprising. They all idolize you, especially Mio. Really? I'm not sure that's true. Yes, it is, Mimi. The killer probably turned it into a lottery to make sure things didn't get out of hand. It'd be no laughing matter if a brawl broke out over who gets to be taught by you. You're exaggerating there, Tayan. It looks like the lucky winner of your magnificent teaching was that chick, uh, Kyrie. 
Apparently so. I wonder what I should teach her, though. How about how to read maps? She's useless with directions. She already did the training for it dozens of times. Wow, she's more geographically challenged than I thought. Uh, well, first I'll just ask her what she wants to do, then I'll decide. Hmm. Popular amongst her juniors. Let's move out. Amongst her kohais. Where is Kyrie anyway? Wayne, there's no way she managed to get lost in inside her own colony, right? I can't deny the possibility. Mio, come on, over here. Yeah, I got you all to myself now. Me, oh. Um, Kyrie. Oops, get a hold of yourself, Kyrie. So, um, Mio, you'll hear out my, uh, my request today, no matter what it is, right? I want to go somewhere with you and ask you lots of different questions. And then, oh, and then... Just relax a bit, okay? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm just so happy. Well then, let us, uh, let's go right away. Follow me. It looks like she doesn't know the meaning of the word relax. I wonder where she plans on taking you. I'll have her lead her away. It's important to respect your jun junior's autonomy. A bunch of weirdos, these groups. <laughs> Everyone is so different. All the NPCs of the, dif of the different colonies. Harry. Do you not have affinity with the different colonies? Why are you so slow? On it. All the... Well, everyone in this colony seems much younger. Than normal, I feel. Like, I know they're all, you know, basically very young, but. Oh, Mion, look at this! There's something on the ground over there. Shall we go take a look, look see? Uh. Let's go. This is probably how she ends up getting lost all the time. But it's probably just fine this once, since she has to us to watch over her. Alright then, let's take a look. Okay. Is this gonna be like Cassandra's bad luck? Ooh, what is it? Shiny. Dark grapes. Look, Mio, there's tons of dark graves in the sack. Someone clearly must have dropped it. It has to call the Gamma's insignia on it. That sounds like a monster. It came from up ahead. They might be attacking somebody. That, that sounds bad. Let's hurry up and, and give them a hand. Lesson do you actually want, Kyrie? You just want to spend time with Mio? Zakir! Mina! Let's back them up, Kyrie! Roger that! Technically, I could have done this quest before this deciding to. Well, the, before the, the hair de decision, I think. So, would I have been able to do this quest in M's, M's attire? 
I wonder if people will say some, 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 something, a comment about me looking different in that clothing. I wonder. I would guess not, but I wouldn't be surprised if it actually made some difference in some quests. Maybe. Not all, but in some. Like this one seems pretty meal focused. For building my uh, my friends, I'm going to smash you super hard. Never thought they would come that you would be saving us. I'm just glad you two are safe. Well, did you pick those up for us? Huh? Oh, you mean all these dark graves? These are yours? Yeah, the kid and I were out foraging for ingredients. But unluckily for us, we bumped into some monsters and dropped them as we ran. So that's what happened. But wait, why are you foraging for food? Isn't that what the culinary team is for? You're always off in your own world. Huh? Don't you understand the state of our colony is in right now? We can't expect any supplies from the castle now, and our stores are depleting. Uh, really? When the Gwen gets this stuff, we can't afford to keep to our separate duties. Everyone has to take some initiative, do their part to make things better again. Ah. Aren't you supposed to be a team leader? Why not try and use your brain for once, huh? Try thinking about what you and your team can do for Connie Gamma. Anyway, that's enough yapping for now. Mina and I should get back to the colony. We're soon. You guys are our team, right? Well then, see you later. Harry. Mio. Mm hmm. In your opinion, how do you think a team leader should be? Maybe I should be more like Zakir, he's smart, and consider lots of different things at once. Maybe so, someone who oversees others might need to be a bit like that. But that's not all you have to be. Everyone has different ideas of what a good leader is, plus there are many different ways of putting the work in. Just like Zakir has his own way. You know. Which is true. It depends. It's more important to have the right qualities for the right job as a leader. Mm. Harry, how far is our destination? Oh, uh, just, just a bit further down that way. I see. Mind leading me the rest of the way then? Yes, of course. Have your blade at the ready, and don't even think about leaving our side. Understood. Shield, 
Phew, looks like we lost them. No, we killed them. You're amazing as ever, Mio. That was so flickering cool. You're strong, beautiful, and kind. I, res I respect the flame out of you. No need to flatter me, Kairi. I'm not trying to flatter you, I'm just telling the absolute truth. I think everyone feels the same way. They all wish they could go on adventures with you. That's why I wanted to be just like you. Kairi? Um, Mio, if I may ask, do you really think I'm suiting, suited to being a leader? Hmm, why are you asking me all of a sudden? It's just, you probably don't notice, but... Namaki was actually supposed to become the leader of my team. He turned down the role, though. He figured I'd be better suited to it and nominated me instead. I always wanted to be a team leader, so I was over the moon about it, but... You've had enough of it now? Well, Namuki seems like a very analytical person. And if he nominated you, then he must have seen good qualities in you. Of course, I'm still happy about it. It's just... Sometimes I wonder if I was the right choice for the job. Oh, Kairi. Oops. First, we have to get out of here. No complaints, I assume. Nope. There's a named grave here. Named Wolf. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Where are we Can't going, Kyrie? Ready. Looking over off the valley. Here we are, Mio. Wait, this is. After you, Senna, and time disappeared, I came here time after time to look for you. Even after everyone else had given up. Or rather, they probably were just starting to move on and look to the future. Oh, so that's why you got caught by the uh, Kevesi soldiers. But I was sure. I knew in my heart that you were still alive out there somewhere. Kairi. But I can't keep falling back on you for help all the time. I'm supposed to be a leader. Going back to our earlier conversation, why did you want to become a leader? Because... Because it's cool! Not a good enough reason. <laughs> cool? I can't explain it very well, but... Well, I've always looked up to leaders. I just wanted to be like them. I see. Do you think depending on others isn't leader-like or something? Huh? Being able to learn on, lean on others and accept help is easier said than done. That's because, in a way, it lets others see where you're weak or lacking. Hmm. But you're not afraid to ask your team for help, like Namuki or Zuno. When they a answer your call for help, it's a way to bring out the best in everyone, don't you think? And when that happens, your team becomes one. That's why I think you're perfectly suited to be being team leader. Mio, thank you. Sure, you might feel small compared to other leaders like Foots or like Secure, but you're your own person, Harry. Have some more faith in yourself. Yep, 
You're brilliant as always, Mio. Those words really gave me the warm fuzzies. I feel so much more motivated now. Huh. Sounds like I did a proper job of teaching you then. I'm glad. I feel so rest restless now. I need to run. Well then, for our final activity, how about a race back to the colony? We'll never win. We have skipped travel. Sounds good. Last one back's rotten egg. We stopped running. Okay. Great guys, keep this up. I want to finish this quest line. Ooh. I guess not. I, I wait. Let's see. That's probably Teacher's thing, right? It looks like it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good timing then. Nice. 